What's up, YouTube? We are back. You might have just seen my Prusa Slicer importing video of magic. Uh, we are here with Idea Maker this time. We are back on my GitHub. Again, GitHub link is in the description. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's hit, go to the Idea Maker profiles. We will take a look at some information here. One is to make sure you load the printer profile first. And we're going to have to make sure we set the steps per millimeter in that, as well as making sure that we omit raise touch specific G code. And we must also enable relative extrusion. So those are the things you have to do before we can start loading profiles. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the SKR bear profiles. We'll make sure we download the printer.zip. So download, my system is gonna go ahead and open that zip file and extract everything. Your system, may not do that, so make sure you extract the zip. And we'll do a PLA and download and a PTG download. That way I can show you this real well. Slide over to Idea Maker. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Slice and then Manage Templates. We're going to click on the little uh, printer settings thingy majigger, and we're gonna hit Import. And we're going to go to our downloads. And as you can see, there's SKR Bear Printer right here. So we're going to hit open. And we're going to name this SKR Bear. And 0.4 million nozzle. Build volume is correct, etc. Correct. Um, export to local disk. Everything is correct here. Now we're going to head to the advanced section where things change. And this is where you're going to change your steps per millimeter. Again, if you have a stock... Prusa style printer, stock bear. Uh, you're gonna have 280 here. If you have the BMG, 830. Um, if you have 8-bit uh, BMG, 415. Again, it all just depends on what you're set up with. Just plug in your E-steps here. Uh, you can change your baud rate for connection. Most of my printers are to 250,000. And we're gonna do some other things. We're gonna enable relative extrusion and we're going to omit raise touch specific G code. We're also going to remove the data file and the content of the data file in the G code. Those are all unnecessary. So let's click OK. And SKR bear is here and we'll hit save. Next, we're going to do is import some slicing magic here. So let's go ahead and import import from local disk. And we have the PLA profile. So we'll open that and we'll call that SKR PLA version one. And we're adding it to there and adding it to there. That's all good. Boom. And let's go ahead and import the PETG one. Import from local disk. PETG. Open. And again, we'll just name it SKR PTG. Okay. And those are done. As you see, the templates went up. Now, one thing we can look at is head over the template. And here's where you can change your flow rate for your materials. Um, you can change all kinds of fun stuff here, like the price and cost and add some custom G codes, but this is where your flow rate is. So make sure you go ahead and change that there. And then if we look at the profiles, if we double click them, we'll hit advanced and advanced will, oh, I've never done this before. Thank you. This is where all the settings are. So make sure you go to advanced to take a look at all the fantastical settings that you can do. So like if you don't want a skirt at all, or you want a brim or a raft or whatever you want to do, that's all in there. Uh, so again, just a simple, simple video on how to import those magical things. So you should be good. That's all you need to do. So we make sure you import the printer first, change those things, and then make sure we head over to uh, importing the profile so that you're good to go. So I uh, hope this helps and there'll be more Idea Maker, prof uh, Idea Maker uh, videos in the future. So stay tuned for that goodness. All right. Thank you again and stay tuned for more.